Des Moines residents and business owners have faced many battles in 2022, and one major one is construction. While many projects will continue into the new year, some are finally done. One of those is the work on Ingersoll between MLK and 28th Street. Our Max Cotton joins us with more on what it means to those who had to battle the road work each and every day for most of 2022. Max, what a year. Yeah, well, it's been a year for construction, especially if you got to go down Ingersoll every day. I mean, this is what it looked like behind me uh, for most of the year. Now you see just a street sign right here, but this is more like it. That's what it looks like behind me uh, on Ingersoll this summer. But crews have been hard at work, parts of the street being ripped up. But now that same stretch looks like this new road with traffic coming along. Lauren Koloff with the avenues of Ingersoll and Grand says it's been tough on neighborhood businesses. You know, they had to battle a pandemic since 2020. And then once things reopened, it was still hard to get people down to Ingersoll because of that road work. Now, however, they're grateful as the street has reopened with added bike lanes and more parking. It was impactful. A lot of the businesses, they were getting new sidewalks poured right up to the face of their business. Um, so we, we knew that that was going to be hugely impactful. Um, luckily, our contractors were working as quickly and efficiently as they could. We were communicating with our business owners throughout the summer about when um, impacts would be coming their way. Um, and all of our business owners were really great. The street reopened in late October, but work didn't officially end until just a few weeks ago this year. Koloff says crews will be back next spring putting some finishing touches on the sidewalks, but that shouldn't affect traffic, she says. And they'll also be working on the next phase of Ringersall between 28th and 31st streets, but that doesn't begin until 2024, Kaylin. Yeah, good to finally see some relief for those business owners along Ingersoll. Thanks for that update, Max.